Hey, Chef Perry here again from ChefPerryPerkins.com and the My Kitchen Outreach Program. I'm a third generation chef, culinary instructor, and author of the Home Chef Series, and I'm here to help you create amazing, simple, and affordable dishes for your family. Hey, Chef Perry here. It's almost Thanksgiving, and that means, at least at my house, the start of holiday cooking season. Here are a few of my favorite Home Chef tips for an amazing and safe holiday meal. Once my turkey is safely thawed, my first step is to brine it. The reaction between the meat, salt, and sugar creates a super moist and flavorful bird. Dissolve your salt and sugar in very hot water, stirring until clear. Add your cold water and your ice to chill that before adding your turkey. Beyond this basic brine, you could add almost anything to create a unique flavor. I like to simmer in some apples, pears, lemons with some seasonings, maybe a little honey, and then add that into my brine, but there's really no limit to what you can do. Refrigerate your turkey in the brine overnight or up to 12 hours, and be sure to rinse the bird thoroughly before roasting to get some of that excess salt. Next, go ahead and get your fingers under that little plastic handle in the front and pop it right out of there. It'll come out easy. And then make sure you throw away that worthless pop-up thermometer. You don't need it. Here's a quick tip. While letting the turkey rest, drape a bag of ice over the turkey breast. This will keep the white meat cold, while the dark meat, which cooks slower, warms up a little. This reduces the risk of the breast overcooking before the thighs come to a safe temperature. One of the biggest culprits of holiday stomach troubles is bad bacteria, like salmonella. And one of the most frequent causes for these bacteria are cross-contamination when vegetables and other ingredients come in contact with something that's touched raw meat, especially poultry. Make sure you prep your meats and veggies in different areas of the kitchen and use different cutting boards for each. For dressing, I always cook any meats and veggies in advance and keep them in simmering turkey stock until ready to mix in with the dry ingredients. Stuffing and dressing are actually two different things. Stuffing is what's cooked inside the bird, and while it's delicious, it can also be a major source of holiday food poisoning. Dressing is cooked in a pan independent from the bird and is much, much safer, but it can still be risky if not prepared correctly. Oh, and if you want to learn how to roast an amazing turkey in just 90 minutes, make sure to check out my video at homechefvideos.com. When it comes to cooking meat, especially poultry, I always recommend cooking to a specific temperature. Never trust the cook time listed in a recipe. There are just too many variables and too many different ovens to hope to get the same results as the author. You want to roast your turkey until it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit down in the thickest part of the thigh. When it comes to carving a turkey, the sad truth is most of us have been doing it wrong for years. Sorry, Grandpa. Slicing vertically down the breast, you're cutting with the grain, which makes the meat tougher. And thin slices can't retain moisture. Combine the two and, well, you get the Griswold family turkey. Yuck. What you want to do is remove the whole breast from the turkey, rotate it, and then cut thick slices down the length of the turkey breast. Now you're cutting against the grain, which keeps the meat tender, and the thicker slices are going to keep all that moisture in, leaving you with a juicy, delicious turkey that your family will be talking about all year long. By the way, if you like these tips, be sure to check out my latest Home Chef's Guide, Holiday Cooking. It's loaded with my favorite recipes, tips, and professional techniques for the perfect and painless holiday feast. So those are some of my best holiday cooking tips. But the most important thing is, have fun. Enjoy your food and your family, even if neither is perfect. Remember, it's not about the turkey on the table, but all the turkeys sitting around it. This is Chef Perry. See you next time.